Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate mass into a game that already has other ad networks inside of it. In this case, we'll be showing you how to remove both Unity ads and Google AdMob ads. Are you ready to get started? Great, let's go. To start, you'll need to open your Unity editor. I'm going to be showing you my game Shutter, which I have loaded up into the Unity editor here. The first step in this process is to remove Google AdMob ads. You'll see that if we open Google Mobile Ads, we'll find a plugins folder, and we want to delete that plus the external dependency manager. Great. Now we've removed Google AdMob ads, but there's still one more step. As you see, we've got a number of errors, and they're coming from this Ads Manager folder file. So let's remove it from scripts. Great, the errors are gone. Now, the next step in this process is to turn off Unity ads. So we go to Services and turn off Monetize Your Games. This will deactivate Unity ads, but we still need to remove it. So we go to Window, Package Manager, and then go to All Packages, Project, Advertisements, and click Remove. Once this is done, Unity ads will be completely removed from your game. That's great news because it means that our game is now ready to use Mass. The next step in this process is to import Mass. We can do that by going to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, click on Mass inside our Downloads folder, and then import it. Now, this process takes a while. First, all of the packages need to be written into your Unity editor. They'll show inside the Assets folder when they're ready, and then you'll need to resolve Android dependencies. This takes a considerable amount of time, so we'll be pausing the video and returning when it's done. And we're back! With this being completed, the next step in the process is to create an empty object called Ads Manager and create a script called Ads Manager as well. All right, now that we've created the script, let's open it. This script is very simple. It's where we'll show our ads. Going to developers.yoda1.com Unity Integration, copy using Yoda1 Mass, and paste it on line 4 of the Ads Manager script. Then copy the initialization method and paste it as well inside of Start. If you've done these two things, you've done a good deal of the Mass integration. There's only a few more steps. Let's go ahead and start by implementing banners. With this, the first step is to add the add delegate method from Mass, which covers the callbacks for banners in the background. Simply paste that inside your start method, and then after you've completed that, you'll want to create a conditional using the Boolean created by is banner add loaded. This method is checking in the background to make sure that there is a banner ready to be shown. By creating a simple conditional, you set up the case for checking whether or not the banner ad is available, and if it is, showing it. There are other ways to add banners or to use this banner method that are better, and in our sample project, you can find them. However, let's move on now and look at interstitials. You can find information about banner position, but we're going to look at interstitials now. And here, we can follow a very similar process to banners, copying the add delegate method, pasting it inside the start. Again, this is covering all the interstitial callbacks in the background. Next, we'll copy the Boolean to check if ads are loaded for interstitials, but this time we'll create a public method that we can use to show interstitials. This is an important process because it allows us a little bit more flexibility. So, let's paste the Boolean 
wrap it in a conditional, and then use the show method from the Yoda one mass SDK. Great. Now we can use this show interstitial method within our game wherever we like. The process for rewarded videos is largely the same. Start by copying the add delegate method and pasting it inside the start method. Next, go ahead and go back to the documentation and copy the Boolean for checking if rewarded video ads are available and ready to show. And just like we did with interstitials, you'll want to create a public method that you can use in different places in your game to show rewarded videos. Go ahead and create that conditional and add the Boolean. And then if it's true, you'll be able to render a rewarded video ad immediately afterward. Great. Now the final thing I want to show you is that inside of the add delegate method, you can find a, a particular callback that allows you to then show the reward. Make sure you remember this when you're considering showing rewards or giving rewards to your players. All right, with this being done, the final step in the process is to link the ads manager script to the ads manager object we created earlier. And then to make sure that we are getting our app key and ad mob ID into our Android settings. You can get the app key and the ad mob ID from the Yoda One Mass dashboard in the details section of your app. Copy them, paste them into the Android settings, and then you'll have successfully integrated Mass. Congratulations. Now that Mass is integrated, which you can see in your console, go ahead and clear that. Let's go ahead and link it to one particular part of our game. For me, I'm going to use the play button. I'll make sure to add the script of ads manager, add the object rather, at runtime, and then the show interstitial method. Finally, it's time to build our APK. Once the APK is created properly, the we'll be able to test mass on our test device. If you haven't set up a test device, please refer to developers.yoda1.com. Our APK is ready. Awesome. Now we can take the final steps to make sure we're ready to use mass. Thank you.